Welcome back to the California Gardener, now on the West Coast, gardening in BC. I'm in my greenhouse, and as you can see, I have a whole bunch of plant starts. So, I did a bunch of squash, and uh, squash, sometimes, depending on the seeds, I can have really good germination, almost 100%, but sometimes not so good. So, usually, if you're starting squash in small containers like this, I'll tend to plant like two or three seeds in a little pot. But then you have an issue because then sometimes they all come up like this and you get two. Here's another one. So it's too much plant in these little pots to start. So you kind of got to pay attention because when they're like this, you should be coming around and picking which plants you want to continue. Like see there's two here. I already pulled there was actually four came up in this one pot. I already pulled them out. And you can see right down here, I want to show you why it's so important to pull them out quick. Is because look at the root system that develops on these things very quickly. So you just see a little plant pop you up top and you have all this below. So if you wait too long and you pull up to try to thin them out, you'll end up damaging your other ones that you leave in the pot. So here, let's show you. So I, you just pick which one looks nicer. Now I'm picking this one because it's in the center of the pot. So I'll pull this one even though it's a little bigger. Doesn't matter, they're all very similar. Try to pull it out with holding down the dirt. Okay, I actually snapped this one off. That's okay, snapped off low enough the root will just die off. But usually the root comes out with it. Let's see, I was, I'll try to get the root on this one just to show you how big this root is. See this? This is why you can't wait till they're this big to do it. Check out that root. <laughs> Look at that. So that's gonna hamper the growth of the other one in the pot. Check out that mega root growth from just a few days. These just popped up in the last couple days. And uh, so I gotta come around and pick one plant from each pot and uh, let it grow. So like this one's bigger here, but it's actually on the side of the plant, so maybe I want this one. Well, I'll, I'll leave those ones and then wait and see which one looks better. These ones back here, you can see a few popping up. This one, this one has a really nice plant already and I can see this one is gonna be behind, so I'll just pull it up as well. So you see, these ones are like the zucchinis, they have a smaller root. But the pumpkins, man, their root grows really fast. Just compost them down in my greenhouse here. So. If you're starting squash from seeds and you put, or you really should put more than one uh, seed per pot if you want to have good germination. Like look at this. Look at these two pots. These pots right here. See, even though I planted multiple seeds, they aren't coming up yet. Now if I give it a few more days, they might come up. Like these ones just started. You see the first three out of six and there's a couple bumps maybe on the back ones. So maybe they will come up. But if you don't plant enough seeds, then you end up with just wasted empty pots so it's always easy to thin them once they pop up so go ahead put two or three seeds in a container and then once they pop up like this just pick a plant like this one can come out look at that root growth amazing isn't that so amazing how that little tiny seed everything's in there for a new life and a giant plant this is a sunburst scallopini squash plant comes out with the first two leaves and then the rest of the plant develops inside has this amazing shiny kind of plasticky layer on the inside right there keeps the two leaves from sticking together I guess and root formation happens to develop a monster plant for you hey thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe hit that like button and uh, you can go ahead and Share this video if you have other friends interested in starting plants in a greenhouse, especially squash like this. Thanks for watching. Give me a comment below and hit the like button because it helps. Hey, God bless your garden. See you later.